Bodhi, the lovely ghost town. The once forgotten mining town of Bodhi. It was 1859 when the birth of Bodhi began. Four prospectors were out searching the eastern Sierra foothills in search of wealth. They stumbled across a promising stream bed of gold inside a meadow surrounded by rolling hills of sagebrush. After some years, in 1876, the town only grew to a few dozen residents. By 1879 and 1880, the town grew to an estimated population of about 10,000 people as mining expanded rapidly. During the boom, the town had 22 operating mines, lots of stamp mills, several general stores and mercantile, stables, doctors and pharmacists, union halls, schools, several dozen saloons, two churches, telegraph station, post office, and multiple motels. During this time, Bodie was possibly the sixth or seventh largest city in California. There were many different neighborhoods established in Bodie. The east held the mills and mines, the center was the business district, and the west held well-kept homes of business owners and mine executives. Get their own telephone and power poles. Lighted up the whole street. The north part of town came alive in the evenings with dozens of saloons, taverns, gambling halls, brothels, and opium dens of red light district. There was even a Chinatown that also held many expensive vices for miners and others. Bodhi gained the reputation of being a shooter's town due to Wild West style gunfire happening during the height of the town's standing. Good night coming out to this little sucker. Take a pee, poop, whatever. Anyway. In 1892, electricity was run into the town from a hydroelectric station on Green Creek near Bridgeport. This was to replace the town's expensive steam-powered operations for the mills and mine. During this time, 12.5 miles of 3,300 volt power lines was unheard of, and many people were skeptical until the project was completed and revolutionized the operations at a global scale. There were two fires that struck Bodhi. One was in 1892, destroying much of the town west of the main street. The other was in 1932, which burnt most of the town to the ground and was the result of boys playing with matches. Eventually mining ended in 1915 and in 1962, Bodhi became a state historic park. Most of the buildings have been left as they were decades ago. The park has put up braces to keep some of the buildings up. Wandering around the mining ghost town felt peaceful, yet unsettling. All the people who once lived and worked in this very town, who no longer occupy it, was weird to process. I wanted to say thank you to my father and mother who both suggested this town to us. They visited decades before this trip and said Bodhi was a place full of Wild West atmosphere and mystery. Walking around, you can actually see how people in the town lived 100 years ago. Small homes, ruins of rusted out cars, machinery, wells, and foundations litter the ground. The park has done a very good job of keeping the old streets clear as they once were. Had some way of, I don't know how they did it, but they did. Look at this big old saw blade over here. This is insane. Near the old sawmill, you can see remnants of the old boilers they once used.
The old church was in extremely good condition and showed the beautiful craftsmanship for the time period. Inside, the old pews were sitting, waiting, once again to be filled by members of the town. You could see the old organ and beautiful white painted wooden walls inside. We were lucky enough to have gotten to go inside a larger home that's kept open for tourists. Inside, you could see everything that was used and left right where it was used last. Uh, good luck charm. There's some money in Okay, Dad, so we made it to Bodie, your ghost town. You and Mom both said this was a good place to check out, so we definitely have been checking it out. It was awesome. And it's been really great. Walking down Main Street, still alive still. We've done a very good job of keeping up with most of the buildings, even though they're falling down slowly, steadily. Very, very cool to see the old brickwork though here, that's for sure. So Bodhi was a cool experience. It was super cool. It was Good. really awesome. Next time we come back, spend a little bit more time cruising around and go on that mine tour they have.